a very positive start to our Champions League campaign. An away game might be poor opposition, but you've still got to perform. And uh, yeah, we did. We played uh, very well, to be fair. 3 0. Uh, Pogba delivered one of his best performances in a Manchester United shirt. Really, really good to see. Dalou got a debut, of course, and it, it's nice to see a right back that can go down the wing, that can cross. You know, someone who's actually bringing a little bit of a different dynamic to our team. We've got Shaw on the other side who's starting to perform like we know he can. With Dallow as well, two young fullbacks. I'm excited. Um, I, I fully expect him to take uh, Valencia's spot in the team later in the season. Uh, maybe not now, but he'll get more game time, more experience, etc. And then he'll uh, obviously come in for Valencia like Shaw has for Young. But yeah, as I say, Pogba was the star man in this uh, in this game. To be fair to them, young boys did start off really, really well. Um, they were very deadly on the counter attack. Uh, their right back, um, Mbabu, I think is his name. Uh, but yeah, he he was killing us for with his pace. Like it was ridiculous. Uh, some of the passes he was playing forward were really good as well. Um, De Gea was forced into a really, really good save. But after that, we got a foothold in the game, and it was just a bit of magic from Pogba, really. Balls played in from Shaw, I think, um, and then it's an exchange between Pogba and uh, Fred. And then Pogba does a clever little drag back to get like half a yard of space, bashes it in from just outside the box, uh, 20 yards, really, really good finish. And then after that, we got a penalty that wasn't a penalty. I'm, I'm not going to lie, like, there's nothing the defender can do. It's ball to hand, but it's giving his hand ball, so I'm not going to complain. Pogba with with a stupid run-up, but thankfully plants it in the uh, top right-hand corner, so it's a really good penalty, but those run-ups, man, they make me nervous so often because he'll just look like a clown if it doesn't go in, but it did, thankfully. And then uh, we make it 3-0, uh, thanks to Pogba again running through, uh, pulling the strings for us, really. And I, I expected him to bang this on a hat-trick, but he didn't. He did the mature thing, and he played through Anthony Marthi uh, fucking hell, I can't even say his name, Anthony Martial. And uh, a little bit lucky with a deflected finish, but you know what? Martial needs that. He needs that little bit of confidence. You can tell he's... he's his confidence is short, like he's got the ability but he, he's just not able to perform to his ability because of his confidence levels. So I'm hoping that does help him. He did make a few mistakes in this game when we're on counter attacks. Uh, there was passes he could have played through to Lukaku and Mata when he came on. But you know what, he scored and I'm happy for him. Uh, he'll probably get some more game time. Uh, it, obviously there's that debate with Alexis etc. He's been really poor since joining uh, Manchester United. He's had a few half displays in that uh, great game versus Spurs last season, but obviously for the wages he's on, uh, it's reported 500k, but I think it's about 300, 350k. Three goals in 22 appearances is nowhere near good enough, so he played all right in the last game, but I don't know, like the competition for places... He's going to have to up it. Like, I think he will start the next one in the Premier League, but he really needs to start performing like he did for Arsenal in order to keep that place. Uh, Rashford's obviously got a three-match uh, suspension domestically, so it's between Martial and Sanchez for that left wing spot at the minute. Um, and as I say, I think Sanchez will get the, the start in the Premier League, but then one more poor performance, I think Martial might uh, come in for the, the next game after that. But yeah, solid display, as I say. Could have been more uh, sure later on. Great ball in for um, Mata just wide. Um, and then the last couple of minutes of the game, uh, Delo with a fantastic cross. Unfortunately, Lukaku offside. He did score it, but it was an offside goal. Uh, but yeah, 3-0. Can't really ask for too much more uh, in the Champions League. Really, really good start. Yes, our second easiest fixture, you would imagine the Old Trafford fixture against Young Boys is going to be the easiest one, but you still need to win. And uh, our less than noisy neighbours lost 2-1 at the Etihad, so that's uh, that's great. Hopefully they don't qualify. Fuck this English coefficient bullshit. Manchester United, that's it. Fuck the rest. But uh, yeah, and then obviously Ronaldo got a red card and... For Juventus, I, I, I don't think it's a red card. Like Surely he's got an appeal on that. I really want to see him play uh, at Old Trafford. And if he does get that three-match ban, that unfortunately won't happen. Yes, it gives us a better chance of winning. But I, I said when this draw was uh, announced on Twitter, our group, I want to be playing the big names. You know, I'm sick of 
a Champions League run where we get to quarterfinals. Well, we haven't actually bought when we got beat by Bayern. Uh, but the last 16 or the group stages and we're just playing teams that just aren't very you know well they're not top teams like they're not the Juventuses the Bayern Munichs the Real Madrid's the Barcelona's so it, yeah I want to be playing them teams again like if we are going to go out earlier uh, I'd prefer to go out against a big team but you know what we'll see Champions League, you never know. Just look at, I think it was 2012 when Chelsea won it, when they beat uh, Bayern Munich and uh, Barcelona, and no one thought they would, but they did. Who knows? We could uh, potentially have a surprise run, but obviously I'm not going to get ahead of myself. First game in the group, 3-0, solid win, and uh, to top it off, Man City lost, so really good day.